Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how to create a run cycle for a two-legged character. You can use any character you like. If you want to use the one that I'm using here, you can also download this from Dropbox. I have added the link in the description below. So you can download the file and you can start working along with me. Great. So now let's look at this character. We have a hip control and we have two leg controls. Okay, so the legs are in IK. And we also have a ball roll uh, attribute here, so I can just use that to lift it up. So this is the rig. Great. So let's start with the first pose. I'm in frame number one. I lift the hip up because he's going to run. I'm going to push the right leg forward, which is green leg. I've purposely given these two different colors so that you will know which leg is in the front and which leg is in the back even if we are seeing from a side view okay so I'll just push this up push it backwards and I'm gonna rotate it I'm using the shortcut keys uh, W E and R for move rotate and scale so if you get confused that's what you should know so for move I press W for rotate I press E and if I have to scale I'll press R Great, so this is our first pose. I'm going to make sure that the same pose is going to be main maintained in frame number 24, that is the last frame. So I'll select all these three controls, so two leg controls and the hip control. And I'm going to press S, so that creates a keyframe here. And you can also see that it has a red line here, so that means we have created a keyframe. Great, so let's go to frame number 24, and we have to maintain the same pose, so I'll press S once again. I'm going to keep my auto key on so that whenever I make a change it automatically creates that keyframe. Great. So let's go to the middle frame that is 20, uh, frame number 12. At frame number 12 we want to create an exact opposite pose. So the blue leg goes front and the green leg goes back. I'll just rotate it to get the same pose as this one has. No need to be 100% exact. So just keep it like that, push it down a bit. Now I'll push this leg back and rotate in. Great. Okay, so let's just, uh, we've created those keyframes. Let's just go back and play. Okay, nice. Fine. So now between these two frames, we have to get create the in between. So let's go to frame number six now watch which leg is coming from the front the leg that comes from the front has to touch the ground so let's go to frame number six the green is coming from the front so I'll just push this down we have to bring it to absolute zero I'll just give the rotation to be zero great now it needs to be zero I translate Y I think I have to bring the hip down Let's bring the hip down. There you go. I might have to move the hip a little bit forward. Okay, that is nice. I'll bring this leg also down. More rotated because this leg is coming from the back. So it's coming from the back. I think I can lift it up. Uh oh. I don't have a pull vector control for now. So. I have to be more careful on how the rotation is going to affect how much rotation I have to give. Okay, fine. So that's fine. So till frame number six, I think it looks good. And at frame number 12, I have to keep it up. What happened here was because I had my auto key on, uh, some attributes don't get the keyframes. So that's fine. No problem. So I'll have to make some small adjustment here. I'll just push this up. Maybe I'll have to rotate it a little bit more, okay. If I want, I can also press S so that it creates keyframe on all the attributes. Fine, so let's say go forward and then again it has to, uh, the hip has to go up. I should have created this keyframe for the hip to stay up here at frame number 12, which I missed. So all I can do is just, I'll just copy this keyframe, right click frame number one, copy, 
go to 12 and paste and this I'm doing only for the hip I'm not selecting the other controls great so that's fine we'll have to do the same thing here so at frame number 18 I want to bring the hip down so I can actually copy the keyframe from 6 copy and 18 I'll paste okay so now this time actually the blue leg that is the uh, I think it's the left leg yes the left leg has to touch the ground so from 12 till 18 let's bring the bring it down I'll give 0 a translate Y and I'll give 0 for translate X so no rotation it's flat on the ground that's fine let's just create a keyframe for all the attributes press S so it goes front yes I think the hip uh, the the all these three controls are too high I can just bring them a little bit down on all these three poses so here I'll just bring it down a bit select the move tool okay we have to say get this create the same pose at frame number 24 so I'll just copy that and paste here so that will have a nice loop and for this hip guy I'll just control copy this and paste it here yes so let's play that back yes so that's a run cycle for 24 frames and this concludes this tutorial